Hi there, it's Patrick McMurray, Shucker Patty here again with Canada's Food Island Prince Ed Round. We got a special delivery of Fortune Bay oysters and let's just open them up and check out what we're going to see here. Mostly you get boxes like this, little wax top boxes, and this is what I would do when I'm checking out oysters. When you're buying a whole box or you're at a restaurant, this is what I would do. So I would check it out first. Gorgeous. You take a look at the color of it, eyes eat first. You want to look at the style of what the oysters are looking like. These ones have got a very big green color to it, which is fantastic. Next thing I want to do in the winter time, you want to check it out and see what the smell is. So we want to go like this. We check it and then maybe give it a little toss like this. It smells perfectly clean and absolutely gorgeous. If there is an oyster that seems to be off, you're going to notice it right away. Two things, you're going to hear it because it sounds like it's hollow. That oyster sounds solid. It's good oyster to go. If it sounds hollow or like castanets, you got to give it a second thought or take a look at it or discard it completely. These oysters look and smell fantastic. So we're going to start chucking these right now. Hi there, it's Patrick McMurray here, Shucker Patty. I'm here with Canada's Food Island, Prince Edward Island. We're going to have some Fortune Bay oysters. These just got dropped off and I'm looking at this gorgeous emerald green oyster. Now, this you don't normally see in a lot of oysters, but we do have some green oysters here in PEI. And this is good. A lot of people don't when they get crazy. Why is it green? Green is good because of the algae, the phytoplankton that these oysters are growing and feeding on is covering the shells. So it's a very nutrient dense area is Bay Fortune where these oysters come from. Lovely little teardrop shape and they're very consistent. And look, they've got some fluted shells in the bottom. For me, that means there's fast water, which means it's got a good tidal flush, which means you're gonna bring lots of nutrients in from the ocean every time the tide comes in. Let's open these up and take a look at what we're gonna see. Teardrop shape is what I like to do when I'm opening up an oyster through the hinge, hold it cup side down on the bottom, give it a little wiggle, turning it like a key in a lock till it sets the knife and then it just wants to open. Quarter turn, pot set, hinge, and then you come across, I don't know if you can see that, the color on this is absolutely delicious. This not only looks super fat, it's got this deep, rich, creamy color to it. And that to me is the glycogen stored that's going to be a sweeter, more buttery style of oyster as it comes through. And that again comes from the nutrients that it's extracted from the water. And I think this is going to be a super fatty, like me, oyster. And we're going to slide this one and chew it up like this. Mm. Two bite chew, chew it up. It's got that firm sugar sweetness, that adductor muscle, very, very sweet. Saltiness coming in right afterwards. Now you get a little bit of that umami, mushroom, earth, sort of mineral note to it as well, which is absolutely delicious. That actually tastes like I'm going to have another one. So what we'll do is we'll just try this one more time because you got to check the consistency. It's not, could be the one that's right on the top that's just perfect, but what? There's another one, looks exactly the same. Super deep cup, which is gorgeous. Pinky's out, here we go. Mm. Gorgeous oyster, Fortune Bay, coming to Cannon's Food Island, Prince Ed Round. Let's have some more.